Welcome to MadCam for Jewelry. In this video I'd like to discuss the importance of seaplanes in MadCam operations. If you're coming from another CAM package such as Dusk Proto or Rhino CAM, you will be familiar with uh, an option to set an explicit angle, either of rotation or of flipping and so on and so forth. MadCam is a little bit more integrated into Rhino in a sense that you set your angles from the current active seaplane before you perform any toolpath calculation and MATCAM will determine the rest for you. For example, when you wish to cut the top part of this ring, you simply specify a C-plane top and your top quadrant of the screen will reflect your currently active area and where you can cut. If you want to cut this front area, you would specify C-plane front and you'll see it once again reflected in your top quadrant. Likewise for left or right areas. So to cut this, you would specify left or right and cut this area. You don't have to stick to the standard perspectives. You can also choose your own perspective by uh, adjusting the view in your perspective quadrant and then clicking C plane, set C plane to view, and you'll see it reflected here. And even though you can continue to rotate this um, camera, you will see that this perspective is locked on until you reset it again. In this top view, you can make your boundary curves, for example, and from these boundary curves, you can make your toolpath calculations. Just make sure that your model has been selected as well as the cutter. So there's our cut from boundary curves and you can see that it's been made at the angle which we specified. And if we select a different angle and repeat this operation we can get a completely different approach and cut an area in any way we want. You will notice that at none of these points did I ever specify any explicit angles, and yet if I go to my cut simulator, MadCamp has calculated what it needs to do to get at these angles and how to cut them. So there's our first cut, this was the side, and there's our underneath cut. Because you can specify pretty much any angle you can imagine, you would be wise to use this cut simulator to confirm that your mill can indeed do these angles. It, there's no warning or safety checks in MadCam, so if your mill does not have the ability to go to 126 degrees and you attempt to do so, you might break something. So make sure you use your cut simulator to check for these angles and make sure that they're correct. Another useful tool in, in regard to seaplanes and MadCam is this rotate seaplane functionality. That's useful for specifying uh, an exact angle of rotation and to to be able to use it, you need to perform two steps, which I'll show to you right now. So, for example, if I want to tilt this ring by 30 degrees this way, I click the Rotate C Plane button. I go not into this window, but the one beside it. Start my rotation axis at zero, and then going somewhere to the right, then go into the proper window. I set my reference point currently directly up and then specify my angle of rotation. So let's say 1, 2, 3, 30 degrees. And you'll see that this ring has been now tilted exactly 30 degrees off this axis. And accordingly, you can see it's reflected on the top window. So as long as my model has been properly loaded, I can make a selection here, or rather draw a boundary curve, and now 
be able to make a cut. As you can see, the bit will come down and perform this operation here. Now, to reset the ring back to the way it was, you just use one of the standard C plane buttons. Let's say if I wanted to tilt this ring now, not here, but in this view, the front view. Well, I perform the same operation but just starting in the other window. So click rotate C plane, starting here, specifying zero, going to the right, and then coming back to the front window, specifying my reference point, so directly up, and then either typing in or dragging my mouse to an angle that I wish. So for example 40 degrees. Now you see that the ring is tilted 40 degrees to the left and this is reflected once again in the top window. Once again we can select an arbitrary area and perform our two pathing calculation which you see here. If I and hide all but these last two paths and view them and simulate it, you'll see that these exact angles are respected. So there's our 30 degree angle cut and our 40 degree angle cut. There are a number of other C plane tools, but for purposes of making wax models, you are likely to be able to cut pretty much anything that you want with your standard set of perspectives, your C plane to view command, as well as rotate C plane. Thanks for watching.